Hey, tell everyone your favorite uncle is back. Uh, welcome back to our channel. And uh, today we are going to be looking at question four uh, from the Mbumalanga question paper. All right. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you're part of the family. And uh, obviously you are most welcome to get in touch with us. Uh, our email address is info at mlungisinkosi.co.za. And of course, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the lesson, please just hit that, uh, uh, you know, like and please share to as many people as possible. All right. So we're looking at momentum and impulse. All right. So let's have a look at the question. So the, we are given that track A. Um, OK, let me just adjust that. So track A with a mass of 2000 kilograms uh, moves eastwards. Now, that's very important. Okay, so uh, they say it collides with truck B of mass 1,500 kilograms. And in this case, they say the graph shows not drawn to scale, right? How the momentum of each of the trucks varies with time. Okay, now let's have a look at what happens. Obviously, this is a graph of momentum against time. Uh, I'm just going to zoom into that graph there. So we've got the momentum of the... Um, you know, of the two trucks, truck A, so that was the momentum before the collision, okay, so that means that the collision took place at 0 0.2 seconds or after 0 0.2 seconds from the beginning or from the start, right, now they say to us, write down the principle, the principle rather, of conservation of linear momentum in words, Remember, we say in an isolated system, the total linear momentum is conserved, or you can say remains the same, right? Now, let's have a look at uh, uh, what happens. They've given us information uh, in the form of a graph this time. They say write down the magnitude of the initial momentum of track A. So in this case, uh, for track A, the initial momentum must have been 6 uh, remember, this is uh, times 10 to the power 3, so please be careful of that. Okay, so this is going to be the momentum of track A would actually be 6 times 10 to the power 3. This is kilograms, meters per second. Okay, right. And of course, uh, they did say that uh, east is taken as positive. Okay, or rather track A was moving eastwards. And that means that track A was moving in the positive direction. Okay, it was moving towards the east. Okay, so um, the next question says, calculate the initial momentum, uh, um, uh, rather the initial speed of track A, right? So in this case, what are we going to do? Okay, so um, I'm just going to answer it over here. So uh, yeah, let's just change the color there. So the initial speed of track A, so we know the momentum, uh, that momentum is mass multiplied by the velocity. So that would be velocity of A, a mass of A times velocity of A. Our momentum was 6 uh, times 10 to the power 3, which is 6,000 in this case. The mass of the truck, remember track A is 2,000 kilograms, right? So in this case, uh, what that simply means is that we know the mass is 2,000 and we wanted the speed of A, right? This is before the collision. And remember, the collision took place at 0 0.2, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is divide both sides by 2,000. Okay, what I do on the left, I do also on the right-hand side. Okay, so the speed of A would actually be, now if I take... Uh, uh, 6,000 or 6 times 10 to the power of 3, right? Uh, this would be um, 3 meters per second, okay? So the speed of A is 3 meters per second, all right? Um, now, if I look at uh, the next question, they say calculate the velocity of track B before collision. Now, we need to go back to the graph and look at the important information. So first of all, the momentum of track A before collision was 6. And of course, the momentum of track A after collision, which is at that point over there, right, uh, is actually 1 
times 10 to the power, uh, 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 to the exponent 3 rather, um, in this case. And that of b is 2, okay, uh, times 10 exponent 3 uh, in this case. This is after collision. Right, so which means both of them are moving at that momentum. Uh, you know, um, obviously, uh, that means uh, after collision, both of them were moving in the same direction. Okay, so we're going to use the principle of, uh, you know, linear momentum. So this was 4.3.1. Okay, so 4.3.2, which are simply going to say, well, uh, sum of momentum before collision right so sum of their momentas before is equal to sum of momentum after collision or you can say final it really doesn't matter so that would be momentum of a plus momentum of b right uh, track b which is equal to again momentum of a plus the momentum of b after collision so that's initial and that would be final okay b final now remember the momentum of a before collision we said that was six thousand okay so that's six times ten to the power th uh, exponent three right right and we don't know what the momentum of b is you know uh, before collision right but we know after collision we said a has got positive one thousand so that's one times ten exponent three remember that's the momentum of A, and it's eastwards, it's positive, right? And that of B is going to be, uh, uh, actually, it's 2,000, okay? So that would be 2 times 10 uh, uh, to the exponent 3, which is the same as just simply uh, 2,000, right? So that would be 2,000, right? So in this case, uh, we've got 1,000 plus 2,000, and then minus 6,000. So in this case, that would give us minus 3,000, okay? But remember, what did they ask us to find? The velocity, right? So in this case, remember, uh, it's going to be the mass of the truck, okay? So that's the mass of B, and we're given the mass of B to be 1,500 kilograms, all right? Please remember that, okay? And in this case, we know that we also... Uh, are looking for the velocity of b initial right so all we're going to do is divide both sides by 1500 uh, 1500 okay and you can see that that momentum is negative and uh, of course the graph does indicate that right so it means that the speed of b uh, would be in this case uh, negative two meters per second now what does the negative uh, actually uh, tell us? It tells us that the truck must have been moving at two meters per second. In which direction? Remember, we took eastwards as positive. So in this case, it means that it was moving westwards. Okay. Right. So that is how the cookie crumbles. A really stra straightforward question. Even though they gave us the question in the form of a graph, okay, we know how to navigate through it. Ladies and gents, I hope that you enjoyed this section, okay? And of course, you're going to maximize the marks uh, in this uh, section. And uh, please don't forget to like and share and tell as many people that your favorite uncle is always dishing out good content. Otherwise, from me for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.